How we doing guys? Welcome back. So, last time we did a Bloom Swarm mission. It didn't go particularly like badly in terms of experience, but we did pick up a couple of injuries, so we're gonna have to be careful on that front now. Other than that, decent amount of leveling on the Calexus, we're pretty much getting towards the end point of this campaign. So we'll soon be looking at the Reapers, but I just wanna guarantee people of that level sort of thing first. We are currently short of servitors, so those injuries we picked up last time do have long dates on them. We're going to have to, you know, wait that out because we need the services from this to repair the thing and then go from there. So, yeah, that, that's a priority. So, we're going to head here. We might see if we can get to here. I am doubting that we'll be able to get over there in the time given, even with a prognostica and route. But we'll check when we get to here and just see if that's possible. If it isn't, oh well. <laughs> Not much more so I can really say on that. Ah, the Paladin's fall. He has finally returned done. from his solitary mission with glorious results. It seems there was a plague surgeon developing a novel method of spore dispersal. Our brother eliminated his cult before sending his soul to eternal damnation. I can see the experience was bracing. He has returned stronger and wiser than before. Yeah, so this is what happens when you send someone good. He did manage to get finished. I... The title Farseer is, you know, considering it says an Eldari, like, Psyker title, is a bit questionable, but hey, let's see. I assume it's just an extra talent, if I'm right. Extra free range on your Stormbolter attacks for a guy using a shield. Completely pointless. That's why I don't like sending Paladins on that stuff, but you don't get to choose. It just sends a random per uh, chooses a random person. But if you can send, like, uh, Interceptions and that, they can get a lot of good stuff. That's probably the main one I'd send. Maybe Chaplin? would be the next one because like purifiers have a whole lot of stuff they wouldn't be able to use paladins have a whole lot of stuff they wouldn't be able to use librarian is uh, not really going to be able to use most of it so it's probably the four basic classes primarily i'd say the interceptor and the chaplain because the chaplain's kind of hybrid but anyway moving on from that slight disappointment there oh this got done as well so the chaplain's now fully leveled so we can pick up this 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 that should be in a rage and a crit reset if we need it. Pretty much solid picks all around. Finished all that, got the requisition. So we now have enough requisition if we want to be able to buy something at the end of this mission. That is something we were lacking at the last mission. We had to skip on grenade armor because we just didn't have the requisition to buy it because I bought a whole bunch of assassin things. Definitely spend after mission, but we did use the upgrades on the mission. So, you know, damned if you do, damned if you don't. Annoyingly, this did go down a level. This was free earlier. I suspect it's because... Uh, why would that have dropped? We'd lose high support or something. Possibly from that. Anyway, we'll deal with that later. Extracting seeds should be easy. Bring in the Dreadnought. So, with that all said and done, do we want to change this comp up a bit? We do want to put grenades back on. Everybody. Because, you know, we're not limited by that anymore. That at least gives you a use. And I think I'm quite happy just keeping the Purifier in with the Interceptor. Because we don't have anyone else to level at the moment, so it's all on her. I did like this. But the grenade has more uses than the current setup. Just as a way of actually, you know, killing people from a range. Because the problem is she struggles to get into combat. Your setup, I don't think we changed anything on you. Um, and then you... I did quite like the ammo upgrade on you, actually. So we'll keep that. Other than that, I don't think there's too much to say. So let's just get on with it.
do we know of this place, Tech Priest? Archival data of these coordinates is indecipherable. However, the report from the Augurium is clear. The blue seeds are below. Our mission is clear. Okay, so this one it is missing one of the packs. I believe it's the middle one. Because it's got, no, it's the first one, isn't it? So there's a pack here that they're not seeing. There's a pack here, and then there's a seed pod back here for anyone who doesn't realize. Other than that, we've done this mission a bunch of times, so basically should be straightforward at this point. You, I'm expecting the pack to be there. Should be able to shift forward one full movement without triggering them. Yeah, they are. With the Dreadnought active, we don't have to be as careful as we were last mission about being like setups for the uh, Kalexus, sorry, the Kalidus and the Kalexus, both of them, because we have to kind of play around the whole thing at the moment. So, because the way that works is we now essentially have a long range knock forward, if you think about it, as the missile launcher. So that means that we can get away with far more stuff than having to position perfectly just on the uh, Kalidus alone setup. So I might not even use the Kalidus as the main setup at the moment. Okay, we're getting pretty close. I'm just going to trigger it normally. I want you as far forward as possible, though, for obvious reasons. So, tuck tuck yourself in there. With doctrine. And then, Dreadnought Warp Forward to trigger it. This is just so his missile launchers should have the range to go over and knock them forward. Ooh, that's a lot of us. This would have been nice to have as the uh, Kalidus setup, because now they're all spread. Ah, you are, you are. Just wait. Overwatch. You can see just the sheer silly number of guns they've got, though. Okay, so, missile launcher, what are your options? Kind of want to land there, knock this guy, these guys that way, and try to set that up. That's one possible setup for the thing. Alternative is just a big grenade. It's not a terrible idea. Intercept is probably going to have to go in at the back and hunt this lot. You don't trigger autos, so we could... Kill them. Quick, quick. Do silly shenanigans. And you don't trigger autos either, do you? So you could just run up and punch that guy. Oh, we don't have any willpower at the moment. That we can solve, though. So you teleport forward as far as possible, then. In an instant. I'm just trying to see what's available in terms of kills. I don't think I actually have to weaken many of... Uh, you have eight. Does that mean you're doing eight on the swing now? You are. So everything with eight dies instantly. Kill that guy on the way through. Die. That's actually a not a bad Be melee attack to have. Uh, you have armor, which is annoying. I'm just trying to see if there's anything I can do to increase the experience she's about to gain. Might be able to get an AP reset, actually. We should get an AP reset, shouldn't we? In that scenario, would it not be possible to kill you and you? I just need to weaken that guy a bit, don't I? In which case, we do... Missile launching there doesn't help the situation. If I walk forward, he does too much damage. Okay. So what if you ran up to here? As you will. That grenade just deletes a whole bunch of people as well. Okay. In which case, all we can do, this shot has to go here. Run forward, AoE this. Oh, you've got more health. Uh, can you get there? You can get there to help out with that. And 
then do that. This should get an AP reset because it's killed using willpower. Glory to Zyphos! I didn't forget, I need to read up on that one, because don't you have... No, you picked the grenade up, so that was a 50% chance, wasn't it? Uh, begins with that, blah, blah, blah. Where's the AP reset one? 65%. That was what it was. So, bad luck on that roll. Does mean... What you do now is more relevant. So let's have... Can you go through this lot like nothing? Teleport to there. There's going to be a lot of random kills now. The main person we were going to use the experience on, you know, no, no longer can get action points. And then he can just move along. See them fall, brothers. I think this should be perfectly fine. Do you have to be careful how far back I go? Because of God, that plot. You should be able to pick up all of this lot without issue, Death though. Comes. So yeah, okay. There would have been three cultists worth of XP had we managed to do it the other way around. I don't think that's going to break the game. Uh, you move forward. I guess just try and missile launch both of them off. Or at least out of cover. Something like that. Killed one, didn't kill the other, but the Interceptor can finish that up. You run up here. I don't want to move into melee, because that's going to trigger the next pack. And we're at the point where I might stop using Polymer to set up stuff. Okay, Polymer, use. She should have got her dash back with all those kills we gave her. So that should be an easy Time setup. I don't know whether we'll get in range to actually activate yet. Uh, with all those things, ugh, I'm not sure I want this setup. When he gets far forward as possible, they are in range. Except that bad guy. I don't think that bad guy can actually go anywhere. So that's a thing. Um, everyone can come forward to at least here, I reckon. Tuck yourself in there for the moment. I'll figure that out in a minute. Might be a grenade from her, to be honest. You can just come running forward. Although the way they purify has just become this kind of follow guy. He doesn't really do anything himself. Uh, I guess get a little bit more forward. It doesn't really matter if they trigger on this, but I'd rather they didn't. Okay, got away with it. That's about the best I can do. So open up, I guess. We'll see what happens. Free immobilize. I don't think that last guy can really move because of the way everything's set up. Cower before your judgment. It's a case of can you? You cannot. Okay. Oh, okay. I was worried about that. Um, so move forward as far as you can. Get that lot in grenade range. Can't get the back guy as it is right now. Moving. That hits all of them. So now we just need to wear the AoEs down. Um, trying to figure out if there's a corner, an angle where I can hit this guy and that guy at the same time without moving all the way forward. But I think I have to go there to do it, which is annoying. Not the end of the world, I guess. Uh, how does your shot look? I mean, it works. It shouldn't affect any of my guys, and it won't knock them back because they're vehicles. So we'll start with double missile launcher and see how what's left. Ammunition required. Reload. Beyond, ready to fire. 
So we're going to kill that thing. It's not the end of the world because that's the least experience in there. Uh, extracto skull, grab that. That's what we're here for. I've extracted I'm assuming feet. with that cleared you still can't yeah, okay. You can't get over there. It's that guy that needs weakening. Can probably do it with a teleport. And maybe just run in a melee. Uh, get rid of that. That should weaken it enough. Don't want to destabilize it. Because that knocks it around. You can damage your own guys doing that in melee. Much better to do that at range. Um, okay, how does that grenade look? Kills the two on the left. Two on the right need one. Four damage each. Practically written for them. You will not survive. Everyone can just advance forward then. Try and get a good setup. Try and make this a quick mission because we spent far too long on the last mission. Uh, I guess moving you doesn't matter because we can't go that way because of the grenade. So. It, it, it really doesn't matter, just do that. That should be a ton of experience. That was a full level. Okay, so... That all said and done. Next pack is at the top of the stairs. Try to keep this going. It's about as far forward. I guess I can get one square further forward, but I'd rather move everyone else up first. up next. Again, we don't particularly have to be as cautious as we were in terms of, you know, we, we can take triggers now with the Dreadnought around that aren't uh, the Calidus opening only. Okay. Uh, let's have you run forward and trigger. And we'll see what's left. Oh. Stun guy at the back, not that that particularly matters. It's gonna be hard to get to him though with where he is. That's gonna be hard to deal with. At least for getting the um, Plexus over there. Yeah, I think he's effectively fully cut us off there. That's actually really annoying. Um, okay. Well, with that in mind. You run forward just so you can get Extracto Skull in there. Like, I don't think I've got an easy way of solving this. Seed taken. Given what's in front of me. Like, the only person who can get over that stuff is the um, Interceptor. Also, hover as to whether I hit everything or not because of the angles. I think if I hit like a perfectly on the corner, I should be able to hit all of them, but it's there, isn't it? And I don't see better options for dealing this damage, so I think it has to be this. I'm gonna do this so they're all in the second barrage. And then we'll just see what we can do, essentially. <laughs> Might need the purifier to come forward and use grenades or something to get through, but it is possible. That angle there. Keep the not mind strike this one. Get through the Overwatch, get rid of that guy. No ammunition. Maybe I should have destroyed this. That might open up a route round, but I think the plague's behind it. Wait, are you immune to hazards? 
I think he is. How interesting. Um, well, with that in mind, On my way. I don't remember making him immune to hazards. Is that maybe I missed something while leveling him? I mean, if you're immune, just go freaking walk in there and get the grenade so it at least does all the damage. Obviously, this is going to minimize the kills on the uh, fiend. Plexus, but whatever. I think I can get her the, we slay the darkness. this guy and that guy, but we are going to have to wait for this hazard to disappear either way. You teleport over it to there. There's no AoEs going on. Actually, uh, is there a way? I think there's better because I avoid being in melee. And that's me move better. But I need you to go hunt that guy. Guarantee the crit, maybe? No, because he's immune to psychic abilities, so we're just going to have to crit normally. What a shame. Definitely going to kind of get close on that roll, but hey. Uh, what does your damage look like? You can definitely go one forward. Doesn't quite kill that guy. Now it does. Quickly. So yeah, the bat guy might live, annoyingly, but there's nothing I can really do to help that guy anymore. So it has to be this. Another death for Nurgle. Then that. For the golden throne! Can't advance because of the hazard can't advance you because of the hazard. So I guess we're waiting. That was just a very, very good... Ha That's like the best hazard spray I've seen out of everybody. Um, and we're just going to have to chance it, what, 40% on the crit? I could buff it to 90, but that'd be a complete waste of that thing. But this guy is already wounded. So do I chance it? That's great, I'm greedy. Okay, got away with it. Got away with it. Good. All that does is give us their AP resets that let us end the turn, I believe. Oh no, because he's already out. He's already used them all. Okay, so it didn't matter then. Uh, is it worth running you into that? No, because you'd run out of things anyway. Okay, in which case there's nothing I can do. I did take his ranged weapon off him though. So that's worth something. Actually, just use this. But why am I making this so complicated? Cool? Just use Quicksilver. Stop being greedy. Uh, now get rid of that. I almost, I almost forgot I had Quicksilver in my back pocket. Okay. So as I said, we are going to have to wait for that hazard to disappear. Except on the Purifier. So the Purifier can come over here, but everyone else is going to have to wait till that sods off. Again, debating if I could... I don't know if that's destroyable, though. This uh, terrain on the right. Because I can't walk through it. Which normally I can with terrain with the Dreadnought. So, I don't know. Uh, um... Yeah, it's not destroyable by charge either. So that's stuck there. In which case, there's nothing I could have done about it. So we're just going to have to end the turn. Still there, gonna have to end the turn again. Still there. Finally gone. Okay, now we can move on. Uh, everything has moved on the last pack, though. Where's the extra pack? All the way at the back. We're probably not getting to that as much as I might like to. Uh, so I guess we just advance this way. Yeah, having to waste a couple of turns because of the hazard, but it's better than taking the damage. It's not worth getting both assassin plagued because of that. Might as well have everyone just keep pace with the Dreadnought. At least where possible. She does have all her stuff back though, so we can get a uh, Calidus opening on the remaining pack. Like, we might be able to roll into the last pack. We don't need the Archaeotech. We just might be able to get any kills. But I guess we'll see later. Up. 
sure. I'm glad we got all that reduction in warp surge, otherwise that would have been nasty a couple of waiting turns. Pop this now. Dash over to... how far can we... Uh, actually, I'd rather use the dash for a non-straight bit. As Just get to there, and then... I don't think we're going to engage this turn. But I'd rather have the dash used so it's on cooldown. Kill them. Quick, quick. You can see them, at least. But we're out of range. So, if they're not moving, we shift to there... And we'll be able to open up on them next turn. Now we just don't trigger them. Or at least try not to anyway. Uh, get to there. On my way. That's practically on the edge of line of sight. Again, don't know if I can get any closer without triggering them. That's a, such a stack, I don't want to trigger them. Yeah, we're right on the edge there. So that, that line is as far forward as we can go. Yeah, I don't see another way of approaching it, so we're just going to have to wait. That means I have to pop reload on the Dreadnought, but I can do that before combat, so that shouldn't matter. Now we can have you open up. Knowingly misses that guy at the back at this angle. Is there an angle where I can get him? It'd have to be from here, I reckon. I don't want to try it around that angle, so yeah, probably get to there. Targets near my location. There's the last pack. We may engage them, we may not. Still doesn't get that back guy. But this, is, this position should confuse, make him go that way, which will keep him in the stack, I assume. Down, fiend. Right, everything other than the guy we talked about got immobilized. He just had a really Silver awkward angle to get This is quite a pack of Nurgle, isn't it? It's Nurglings, Plague Caster, and a Plague Bearer. Double Plague Caster, actually. So there many bucks. No uh, okay. With that all said and done, you cannot get into range. <sighs> Annoying. And there's no way to speed you up either. Could try knock him into me though. That is an option. I need you to shift forward if that's going to be the case. Might be able to blow her cover out the way. Don't think that made it shorter, but maybe. Hitting there is the place to go. That leaves them all really low, but we want them knocked. So, yeah, I guess I guess we have to do a regular shot rather than a mind strike. Split them up a bit, but there's a group there that she might be able to get to. Ammunition required. She can touch that guy, she can touch that guy. That's obviously the best shot we're gonna get. You slap a vulnerable on that guy then. A single crack can topple the walls of Empire. Probably just gonna delete this guy, but do I do this now or do I save it for a bit? Annoying question. Um See if you can do anything to knock these guys further in, so maybe we can stack the experience gain. I mean, annoyingly, he has to go around the dreadnought. Swiftly. Chuck that there. Titan. And basically, it's going to be weaken as much as possible, and anything left. Uh... I misestimated where that pillar was. Annoying. Because he was already wounded. Uh, nothing I can do about that now, though. 
range isn't good enough. Charging does weaken that guy, but that guy would already die to her, her AoE. And I think that guy's actually her contact point, isn't it? So he does it now. Kills four of them. There's two, those two left up. Right. Interceptor time to go in. With alacrity. Get the crit on this guy. Don't go for the seed, because we can get the seed another way. Your end is near. Don't care about the stun. That one. Yeah, uh, that one pillar break is probably going to be the only damage we take, which is annoying, but hey. Alright, that should be enough of them. It's a case of now, how do I get more damage out of you guys? Do I just charge, like, there? I want to charge so that I'm further forward. But I don't think it matters where I charge. So probably charge there. Oh, it also damaged the Dreadnought, that pillar collapsing. Okay, that did far more damage than I gave it credit for. Something I've always got to watch out for on these missions. Um, I think it's pop this. And just work our way through the pack. Go delete that guy for me. By hubris, the fool can Saves a lot of effort on the action points, that one. So it might not be the highest priority target, but it does reduce the problem significantly. I don't like the idea of having to death strike. Can we just... Yeah, we can just get away with this, can't we? Cheesy as hell, but... If it gets the job you done, don't bother survive. about it. That should drop them all low enough that her AoE does stuff. Then we can pick up the seed. There is no salvation. So a bit of a waste of the crit buff, probably, but worth it in the end. Another fiend destroyed. 95 XP off a single attack. Do that just because. I know the intercept could the grab it, but, before, Commander, but there are warp disturbances let's see what's coming us. in. We will begin teleport extraction immediately. One all the way back there, that's not a big issue. That one's getting missile launched. I tried to drag the dreadnought forward so they'd be closer to us. Looks like it's kind of worked, but it does mean we're going nowhere near the Archaeotech. Back. I've extracted the seed. Not that that's necessarily a bad thing to avoid that. Can you get the kill on this guy? Probably. Matters more to get her the kill on it than the interceptor because of getting cooldowns. Breathe your last. And then you just sit in this corner. This guy's going to deal with this pack in the corner. Dreadnought reloads, probably tries to deal with this pack. Purify just grenades the hell out of that. Oh, they came in as well. Oh, that's going to be annoying. Although... There is a way of dealing with that kind of Not sure how effective it's going to be in the long run, but... Let's see what else is coming out first. Run them down! Because if I'm right, Plague okay. comes 
for your false emperor. Yeah, okay, that's not the worst thing in the world. So what we do, Gate of Infinity, down to here. Doesn't matter where. Now this guy needs to chuck his grenades. I think he can only get three. I'd love him to have been able to get four. But I think it doesn't matter which. So I'll have him end on that guy. So we start here. But this had to be done first to save action points. So and annoying because she can't crit in melee. You can't give these kills to the Cl uh, Clexus. The enemy weakens. Does mean this guy gets to go ham and just tear everything apart. But... Ah! Glory to Zyphos. Fury. Now all that's done, maybe we rotate. We have to get rid of this guy, obviously. Should have enough willpower to get away with this. Armor break does more damage. Do we bother with more? Okay. Uh, you need to reload. Ready to unleash devastation. Missile launcher there. Try and just get rid of all of them in the same shot. Didn't get rid of all, but definitely removed the main ready. problem of that flank. And we've got what? A pop two pox walkers? That, that's not a problem. Um, over on this front, however, nothing in range yet. Probably going to charge away to avoid damage, or do I charge into them? Charging into them is actually viable, isn't it? It's risky, don't get me wrong, but it helps out a lot. Um... Could rip any of them apart. You've got your dash and stuff up. Does that help? Probably, actually. I'm trying to get this girl into this corner. She might be able to figure an angle where she doesn't hit the dreadnought with her AoE. Death strikes on cooldown, but we have to go into there. Kneel and be judged. Can throw this. Yeah, it's just a little bit tight, isn't it? Pop that to get rid of all their ranged weapons. So they've only got melees versus the dreadnought. Weakens but doesn't kill. There is an angle that hits all of them though. That's on cooldown. Probably has to be that, isn't it? We're going to take some damage on this front, don't get me wrong. But with their melees disabled, it should be relatively easy to handle. Suffer for your sins. Could shift her over there. She will get a ton of armor. What's the range on your thing? Could we get away with moving one? Probably. Because she'll get a ton of armor, but it lets us pick these guys off. It doesn't quite have the damage to kill that. That's annoying. Uh, can kill that guy, though. In fact, if we teleport... Do we have a teleport on you? That will be enough damage to guarantee the um, kill there on that corner. That means we still have to deal with this guy. You're not getting anywhere useful. So 
grenade that guy. Just need to minimize the amount of effort the intercept has to put in down here. And this is the highest damage in a single attack he does. Sure. He's got one action point left. I don't think it matters. I... I don't think this guy can kill that guy in a single hit, is my point. Uh, no, never mind, he can. That saves the interceptor having to spend an action, because I don't think he'll get the great reset. Okay, that's two flanks pretty much dealt with. The that right flank will die. Well, three flanks if you count that. Uh, you teleport to here. While we're thinking of it, you attack and should be able to kill this guy now. Because the extra willpower you've got off the insect is built up. Okay, considering how messy this was looking a second ago, this is this is looking alright now. Kill them two on the way through. Really wish I had the crit buff here, but I've already got all my crit resets, but so it's mostly would be damage. Ideally, if I can get them down to one or two, I'll be much happier. Nothing else to spend the willpower on, so I might as well just go for it. The war resists my will. Okay, one dead. Uh, none of this matters. It's all on how crit lucky we're feeling. Which apparently isn't very. Okay, so what's left? Two bolters. Not particularly dangerous. I could run and hide. Say back here. That way I wouldn't take damage on the interceptor. It does leave open shots here, but we're so far away everywhere else. Is there any guaranteed, like, hard cover where they couldn't get just round and behind me? Probably down there, actually. Because we're going to have willpower to teleport back in next turn. Dreadnought's got armor. They'll move forward. But I think they'll pop shots or overwatches. Neither of which will do much. If they'd had plague spears, I would have had to stay. Just to try and get rid of those. But currently they're far more interested in that interceptor. But what it opens up is the fact that that gets more kills on the Plexus. Okay, uh, can you get to that? Might as well pick it up while we're here. So the only damage we took was self-inflicted. Kind of sums up what we're doing, doesn't it? Um, right. You reload. Move one. Essentially just trying to clear them out of cover here. And bombard them forward. And then it's a case of how much more damage do we need to do? Does your damage increase as you get closer? I assume it does. Shift to there, fire that, that kills you. I think it does the same damage to both, so whatever. Vengeance. Dead by my hand. And then we can just go melee him. And he's dead. Okay, that's that was a good mission, other than that one kill I'm holding on. Don't think there's anything else to do, so we can just end the turn. Teleport coordinates locked. Initiating sequence.
So, how much damage did we get away with, as it were? Good amount of purple seeds, that'll really help for leveling stuff. This is terrible armor. These are the mega crit. Ooh, they're actually half decent. Don't care about that. That's the crit heavy bolter? The problem with these is they're never going to be as good as the current weapons we've got. So I don't actually need them. That's more interesting, but primarily only for the chaplain at the moment. Which I guess is enough, so we can go with that. We know he at least leveled up once, probably got close to max. Look at that XP just roll. Probably one more level mission and he's actually done. Sorry, she. Uh, that's just nullify area upgrade. That's completely pointless. I, I don't agree with that ability. It's, it, it's not as useful as they seem to think it is. Might as well where we have a chance so we can get this started to actually fix those wounds we've got. And here we can start the repairs. It'll take a couple of days, but we won't have missions for a couple of days. Won't be able to get to this one, as I've said, because like, it's probably at least three days out and it would only get us two point of progress to get down, so it's not worth messing around with. So I'll leave it here, and I will see you guys in the next one.